First of all, shalom, everyone. All praises to the Most High. Ahaya. Definitely giving respect and honor to the Ruach, to Yeshaya's son. Yesterday, it was definitely put on my spirit to speak on something that has become not even a, a bit of controversy, but a, a source of great contention in the community of believers. Um, the Messianic belief doesn't have anything to do with any religion at all. Christianity, Judaism, otherwise. And I think a lot of people have gotten away from what they see, what they've read, and gone into what they've heard and thinking that it is their job to tell someone, hey, you're not going to be saved because you're European. When I tell you that is literally the stupidest thing that you can say to someone. And it's also the most damning thing you can say to someone for yourself. And be a little more clear on lineage. Noah was to repopulate the earth. He was. Noah was a Hebrew. All three of Noah's sons were Hebrews. Of the line of Shem also comes Abraham, who was a Hebrew. Only up until Jacob were they all Hebrews. Starting from Jacob and then his 12 sons came Hebrew Israelites. So with that being said, let's take a step back. When we're talking about Ham, is Ham not a Hebrew? When we're talking about Japheth, is Japheth not a Hebrew? One, one thing I didn't bring up was Ishmael. Hmm. First son. First son of Abraham. Is he not a Hebrew? No, he's not a Hebrew Israelite, but he's a Hebrew. Does meaning that you're Hebrew, but not an Israelite, mean you can't gain access to the kingdom? Does that mean you can't be saved by repentance and baptism and following the law, statutes, and commandments? Hmm. I just want to use the logic that a lot of people are trying to use. That makes absolutely no sense. In today's day and age, we can see who our moms, our dads, maybe our cousins, maybe grandparents back one or two generations but through DNA genealogy of what seed someone may be. Some people are orphans, adopted, have no idea who is what. Now, do you not believe that grace and mercy is not grant is granted or is not granted to those who were born of the seed of Japheth? Or the seed of Ham? The seed of Ishmael? And the funny part, what about the seed of Esau? Esau gave up his birthright twice. Yet he still is a Hebrew. No, he's not of the chosen seed of Shem, 
of Abraham through Jacob as the priestly nation. No, it's not. But what does the priestly nation, what does that entail? What does it entail? The priestly nation entails those who live by that culture. Those who were put to not rule and lord over, but to teach and to lead. It is their requirement as a Hebrew Israelite to lead and not Lord. We don't make decisions for God. And we don't use scripture to beat people now and tell them they're not accepted into the kingdom. There's plenty of talk of who and what's grafted in, who's saved by faith. Plenty. But again, instead of just listening to what people are telling you, even myself, I challenge those to go read for themselves, especially with the gospel of Christ. Go read what the gospel of Christ says about who can be accepted into the kingdom. Not what somebody tells you about laws. Go read the gospel of Christ. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, read those. Please do. Even Christ himself, <laughs> even Christ himself have to be baptized by his own cousin, John. Talking about following the law, statutes, commandments, even he had to be baptized. Do you think Christ was the first one that had to be baptized? Hmm. Do you not think that Adam himself had to repent and be baptized for his sin? We seem to think that the Levitical priesthood or the law of Moses was an end all and be all and it wasn't it was a lesser priesthood because we failed when do we fail as a people many times when was amongst the greatest failure how about being delivered out of the land of Egypt how about when Moses went up the mountain spent days with the most high came down with some tablets of stone why did why did Moses throw those tablets down and have to go back up what happened at that time who went with and accepted the lesser gods made of gold. Was it not Aaron? What happened to those people? How many people were slain that day by the Most High? Every person left on this earth from those times up until now has fell short in sin. Every single person on this earth has the opportunity for salvation. Everyone. To repent for the remission of their sins, the sins of the ancestors, and be baptized into the kingdom. 
you don't enter the kingdom under whichever. Oh, which is, I'm, I'm going to go directly under this line because this is where I think my people are. No. That ain't not go. Read the gospel for yourself. And it says study to show yourself approved. Studying doesn't mean going and listening to other people and then going and regurgitating and repeating what they said to others in ignorance and in error. The spirit of error and the spirit of contention does not come from the Most High. It comes from the devil. So if somebody's telling you who can and who can't be, who cannot enter into the kingdom without literally knowing their genealogy, think about this. When they established genealogy back in the day, it was through the seed of the father, right? Patriarchal. It's through the seed of the fathers. They didn't use DNA. Genealogy at that point in time, and even really, even now again, is established through records. So yeah, someone would show forth for the meetings for the councils, but they would also have records to be able to go off of. What records do we have now? Think about that. What records do we have now to say who's who and what's what? So how can you truly know if you are the seed of Ishmael, the seed of Esau, the seed of Ham? How do you truly know? How do you know that someone that looks like you, because they say not all skin folk are kin folk, how do you know that someone that looks like you truly has your best interests at heart? Your soul salvation comes with your own fear and trembling, with you studying with you repenting and you being baptized. It doesn't come by the fear of what man says or man's precepts. It goes by what's written. It goes by record. None of us here were born or there from when Christ came to this earth. But we do have record of what he said. What he deemed was permissible for his kingdom. So regardless of whose bloodline you come from, whose genealogy you have, we all have the opportunity through mercy through grace, through repentance and baptism, which is the straight gate to enter the kingdom. Teaching against that is not the doctrine of Christ and is considered a false teaching. Whether you want to believe that or you don't, that's written. that's written again I'm not trying to come on here and go through a very long study going through all the genealogies going through all the different scriptures throughout the gospels of Christ the doctrine of Christ showing who and who cannot enter Did he come back for his lost sheep? The house of Israel? The children of Israel? The children of Judah? He sure did. Or not those who choose to cleave to his people able to enter into the kingdom? They sure are. Are those that choose to cleave in to enter the kingdom or can be grafted in only from the seed of Ham? 
Does that make sense? Why wouldn't they also be from the seed of Japheth? Why wouldn't they be from the seed of Ishmael? And finally, why wouldn't they be from the seed of Esau? Again, baptism and repentance. So no. Are you chosen? If you're of Hebrew descent. Are you chosen? Of you of Hebrew Israelite descent? And because you're of Hebrew Israelite descent, does it automatically mean you enter the kingdom? Does it mean that because of your blood, you're more special than anyone else on this earth? Or is the Most High not a respecter of persons? You need to be careful who you're following. You need to be careful what you're teaching. Those are for the leaders. For those who are doing the following, you need to read. You need to study and find yourself approved. But the absolute last thing, absolute last thing that you need to be doing Standing on street corners, doing videos, telling folks because you're not a Hebrew Israelite or because you as a Hebrew or Hebrew Israelite married someone from the seed of Japheth, that person and the children that come from that person cannot enter into the kingdom cannot and will not be saved through baptism and repentance and being grafted in. That's false teaching. It's false doctrine. And it's not of the doctrine of Christ. So yes, go read the new covenant, which Testament is supposed to say. Go read the new covenant. What does it tell you? What does Christ say in his own words? Who can be saved and who can enter into the kingdom and how? And then take a step back and look where you may have erred in telling someone, teaching someone against the doctrine of Christ. We all are but filthy rags before our father. We all have sinned and fell short. For those who have done false teachings, for those that have used the precepts of men to stir away others, to cause contention, my advice is repent. For those who have listened, go back and study for yourself. Shalom, brethren.